another thing I like about this 308 is the standard version, standard look. Look, it matches what I wear every day. I don't wear green pants every day, but I wear the same style pants every day. Tan pants, brown pants, sometimes black pants, and green pants. And it matches the shirt too. Hi Wastelanders, this is Get the Last Ranger. This is aka known also known as Gary. Um at the park I'm uh, in my car. I see how close I am to the road. So I'm doing the review in my car, the, my truck. I could wait until I get home, but I I've been putting this off because I haven't had time this week or last week. Um so I'm I'm going to do the Zero tolerance, zero three, zero eight, three oh eight review, and I've had this knife since March, and I've been putting off. I, I've, you know, I really liked it, and I just just started carrying it last week, so I'm late to the review. I mean, probably everybody's moved on for this knife, but anyway, I'll roll down the. Listen to that action. That action is sweet. Let's get a close-up looking at that the Star Wars symbol in this 308. That's uh, CPM 20 CV. Made in the USA. I don't know what these cla uh, they classify this blade as, but I mean it's like a, a drop point. But I, I really I think it's like a harpoon. I'm not an expert, but it it looks it reminds me of a harpoon. Uh, so so let's ro roll down the specs. This uh, blade length is three point seven five inches, and I like when it was it's an even number, like a three point seven five, three point five four. Um, it's uh, 9.5 centimeters. The closed length is 5.2 inches. And overall, it's 8.9 inches overall. And closed length is 13.2 centimeters. And 24 point, overall length is 24.1 centimeters. Okay, so this, this blade thickness is... 0.156 inches 3.96 millimeters and again this uh, not a drop point a clip point sorry initially I said a drop point but it still looks like a harpoon to me that with that nice swedge um, so this uh, handle material is coyote g10 it has like a bead blast finish I mean on the titanium I like this uh, this grind this pattern on there it's it's not necessarily grippy it just looks good I I mean yeah it's 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 not grippy at all so but it's not really it's not smooth it's not slick it won't slide out of your hand but it's it's not meant to grip your hand that much so, um, this is a KVT ball bearing system. You can see it drops super good. I could just uh, let it drop in, um, without nudging it along. And it opens like slick as snot. <laughs> and it's like, a, it, it has a well-tuned uh, detent. Look out. Look out. Here she comes. There's no uh, wrist flick needed for this. Listen to that sound. Nice action sound. 
So, um, oh, I forgot the weight. Um, the weight is 6.9 ounces. It's very heavy, but it's heavy and in a good way. Yeah. It breaks down to 195.6 grams. It has a custom nut. You can use a wrench to uh, take this apart. You can see this grooves on the side. They say you can do a field adjustments with a wrench. So, I mean, and it's 20 CV. It has a, a very good wear resistance and it has a very good edge retention. I've never sharpened that. So I don't know how hard it is to sharpen, but most of you probably will know if you uh, have been around knives a lot of years, the uh, uh, 20 CV knives. Titanium fray lock, frame lock with a hardened steel insert. You can see it barely there. And it came centered from the factory right on. And handle to blade ratio or is I mean it's right on. It couldn't I mean it I mean it's satisfactory. It's it's excellent. So, um, this, uh, blade opening action is one of the best knives I've ever experienced. It opens every time. You don't have to flick the wrist. It's kind of hard at first, but you get used to it. So, the, it has jimping up there, so to grip... You just, I think you need the jimping because it doesn't have a, a big flipper tab. Uh, and what's, it, what's nice is when you, I'll flip it out, the flipper tab kind of disappears. It, it's just a little bit there and it, it comes to a nice point, like a guard. Enough jimping exposed to slow your finger down. Um, it's a very nice knife. Um... I think I covered the milling of the G10. It's really, it's really nice. And uh, on the on the non-presentation side, this is titanium, and it has the same milling pattern as it does the G10. So, uh, I really like that clip. I really like how it looks. And initially, I was scared of it because it it was so thin. Um, and it, there's not a very much room in there to get your pants, get it in your pants. But um, it, it has some initial break in to uh, get it in your pocket. Um, but once I was putting it in and out of my pocket, maybe a couple hours, it got it flexed or it got looser. So, and it stays in your pocket. I mean, I think this texture maybe. It doesn't tear your pocket up. That's what's nice. My final thoughts, as I said, this is my first, maybe I didn't say it. This is my first ZT. Um, I've never bought a ZT before, and before this one. And I think what kept me from the purchase in the past, it was, I, I mean, I'm a budget kind of guy. It, it was kind of too, ZTs were very expensive. Three hundred dollars is about my limit for a, a fold folder, but I'll spend more on a fixed blade. Oddly enough, huh. so this is resembles the old earlier ZTs, but it has a thin handle and it has, I would say, a better blade design. And you know the the pivot, this uh, notch going through there, uh, the opening, it's it's really cool. So when I saw this knife, I think it was the first introduction of the 2020 ZTs. And so I had to buy it, but I paid like $240 and I, I, for the life of me, I don't remember how I got this. So you would think I would remember that, but I don't. I bought a lot of knives because I was, uh, the pandemic and I was, locked up at my house and not working from home and I bought a lot of knives that day or that month the month of March 
Um, it's it's a good looking knife, and it was it's impressed me enough on carrying it to replace my uh, bag knife, and it's I like carry my bag all the time. So this is the a good knife to. It's like what is it? I called it. I call it my bag knife. It's called like a, I don't know. It feels it, uh, feels great in hand. It has solid solid ergonomics. You can't beat it. I mean, there's no hot spots. You don't even feel the clip because I mean, it's barely the clip there. It's so thin. You can't, you know, I mean, it's so close to the handle. You can't help not but not feeling it. So, um sorry about my talking. I'm I'm talking a little bit of stroke talk you know but bear with me um it's i think it's the right thickness because it's so thin um again i love the harpoon shape of the blade and i don't know it's a 300 hundred dollar knife and i think uh if you can find it on sale you like a a really overbuilt knife and i don't i don't think they sell uh, the term overbuilt knife again or nowadays but i would consider it a overbuilt uh, just a well designed well built knife it's i think it's it, it looks like a strong knife and i've never put it through the test so i don't know how strong it is but it looks like a strong knife I'm sure you can um, ha find reviews out there where they built beat up the knife. So, so I mean, I would rate it as a buy. It's it's a really good knife. All right. Um. Thanks. Uh. For bearing with me. Um. In my uh, hot truck and my uh, stroke talking style of review. Um take care wastelanders and if i did don't get back to you within uh this week or i'll probably i'll talk to you in this weekend but take care and um be safe bye oh i just have a a bonus thing wastelanders this is a 308 um but it's a keychain slash bottle bottle opener but i kind of want to use it on my um knife i just want to uh s do a lanyard a short lanyard with this uh on the end they maybe do four or five uh knots how would you guys end this um in this with uh, this uh, bullet, but I don't know what kind of knot I could end with this hanging on, like if pretend this is a lanyard, and what can I do there? If you have any suggestions, let me know or... I thought I'd show you guys um, my my gun in the bag so and I carry a gun too but I prefer to carry it in a bag and right now I'm carrying uh, a Colt this is the X XSP 380 auto and um, it's pretty small gun I mean it's a really small gun I mean look at it in my hand can see it's very small but so that's what I carry and get the or you get, get a bigger size look at that with a knife <laughs> this piece of a knife I mean it's almost bigger than the gun so all right